a very good morning students we are in our regular class lecture and the subject is ore dressing and the topic which i will try to cover is the grinding tumbling mill and the chilean mill and the book which i referred for this topic is the course in mining geology by aroge sami so let us get into the heading grinding actually the following are the characteristics of grinding the first thing is that crushing will produce coarse product whereas the grinding will produce the fine material as we seen in our previous class right uh, crushing right so crushing will simply produce product like this which is coarser in size and if you are looking for finer product then you have to go for the grinding so this is the difference between crushing and grinding then there will be question why should we grind the material to find products right actually the grinding is essential for elaborating the valuable minerals say for example if you are having a ore deposit with an intergrowth texture right so what happens the valuable mineral as well as the gang will be together in the intergrowth texture so we have to break this texture and separate the valuable from the gang and for such a thing what you can do is you can go for grinding because crushing can't separate these two things right so if you grind what happens the valuable mineral as well as the gang mineral will be getting finer and after doing that we can go for froth sortation or magnetic separation or whatever it is you can simply separate the valuable fine material from the gang material so for such a thing grinding is important and not only that grinding is also needed in hydro metallurgical process so if you are going for leaching process to separate the copper ore then you have to do, go for grinding because crushing is not sufficient to do leaching so to separate a uh, copper low grade copper ore we can go for leaching process and for that also we need grinding and these are the some of the interesting and important factors uh, characters of grinding so let us go for the first one that is tumbling mill the basic principle of operation is that the material will be abraced due to grinding between the particle itself not only that and also with the roller of grinding element that produces the fine material so this is how the tumbling mill works actually there are two places where it is breaking down into fine powder the first two one is they will be colliding with one another right whatever the material you are putting into the tumbling mill they will just collide with one another and they will become fine powder and also this material whatever you put into the tumbling mill will also collide with the surrounding surface that is the container so by that also it will be breaking, breaking down and not only that with all, with that also they will use balls rods conglomerates etc so that the grinding will be more finer right and here is a sketch of the basic principle of the tumbling mill you can see here the pqrs so this is the portion where the maximum crushing is taking place and these are the arrows that shows the direction of rotation of this drum and this is the drum and the, this one is the course taken by the pebbles so the pebbles whatever it is fallen here will move with the drum to some extent and after that due to the angle of repose it will fall down and during this falling down it will hit the material whatever you had put it in for grinding so by this way the material is crushed to fine powder and this is the sketch of a tumbling mill that you can see here and this is actually a rod mill which essential parts are shown in this figure you can see here this is the feeder through which you can put the material that you have to crush right and this is the inspection door from which you can check the quality or the resultant product right and this is the body section where actually the grinding is taking place and this is the overflow from which the highly crushed material may get out through this right and actually this is uh, this tumbling mill that is the rod mill actually uses the feed of size 1 by 4 inch and this is done actually where it is needed is that is gra granular product is required for gravity or magnetic separation so if you are looking for granular products 
that is required for separation by gravity or magnetic process you can go for the rod mills and this is how it is working is that clear and the next one is chilean mill and it is a wet grinding process actually and it consists of robust steel or cast iron which is quite stronger so it will not uh, abrade itself which is in the vertical side that is inside the tray so this one is the tray which is consisting of uh, cast iron or the robust iron steel and the tray on the lower part of the side is the screen so here is the screen which consists of uh, fine pores and there are three rollers so these three are the rollers which are separated by 120 degree apart so it's, it can cover a full circle say the whole circle degree is 360 and if you divide by 3 you will get 120 degree so the for complete covering the spacing between the rollers is 120 degree apart right and there is a central shaft which actually rotates these uh, rollers the feed is put into the mill that is near the center right together with the sufficient water because as we said earlier it is a wet grinding process and as the roller rotates the material is crushed so water material you put here with the water so this will crush it right and there is a scrapper that is followed by the roller so there will be a scrapper with this roller what will do is it will just scrap the material towards inside so whatever you whatever it is crushing in this portion will not go out of this so it will definitely comes in due to the scrapper's action and after getting a finer size the fine materials may get out of this chamber crushing chamber and may reaches the discharge channel through the screen so this is how the chilean mill works it is somewhat near you are weight grinder in your home right this is the mechanism of your weight grinder there we know this thing right the screen is not there in your grinder you may have to put it with your hand and take it out right so the same way the chilean mill is working so is that clear if you still have any doubt you can ask me in the class thank you